Effie, no John McGinn. It looks like he, he's gone. No training this morning with him anyway. He, how, how will this affect him going into this time, do you think? Well, I don't think it's going to affect us because we're a team, not an individual team. So for us, we know it's coming. Um, he has been there since. So for us, we just focus on the game. That's the most important thing. But we know if John is here, he's a plus to the team. He's a great player, great motivation to the team. We fight for the team, we fight for him to get where we are today. So, But without John, we are still here. We see how the quality of player that can still replace him. So for us, it's just to focus on the, the tax side of us and leave John to try and deal with the situation that's going on around him. But still, with everything going on around him, he's been a professional and a top player. And he has really shown his quality in and out of the pitch. So for us, we just want to wish him well as a squad, as a team, as a hip player, for him to get the best. Because in football, it's just cycle. You go, you come back, you go, and other players come in. So the most important thing for us now is just to focus on tomorrow's game. And we don't want the transfer of John to distract us on the goal at times. So for us, we just focus on the game tomorrow. Whenever any team loses a player of John's quality, it obviously has an impact, doesn't it? Well, depend on, the, on on what you believe. But as I say, we believe in the squad, and the coach believe in individual that can contribute to the to the squad. So for us, we know he's a great player, and no doubt about it. Nobody, everybody wants to keep player like John in the squad because he brings extra team to the team. But still, we have the likes of other players that are in that can really fill in his shoes. We've played some couple of games without John and we've done very well too, as you, as you can see. So for us, it's just to focus on tomorrow. And with John, we know it's going to be better, but without John still, we can still do it. You played against Molde for Celtic. Uh, a few years ago, what, what can you remember particularly about the games against? Well, I know they are kind of tactical team and they are disciplined. Sometimes you play them, you get all the possession, but uh, they counter you and they strike on you without you knowing. So for us, we just want to play to our strength. The most important thing is winning at home comfortably and keeping trying to keep a clean sheet that will take us to the next game and we'll see what's going to happen from there. So we just train hard and work hard. Well, as you know, it's 90 minutes. And it's the most important thing is on the pitch. So for us, we just want to do the good job on the pitch and make sure we get the right team and all the Kafas put into the training. We establish it on the game and we'll see where that will take us after the 90 minutes. Has beating Asteras over two legs given you extra belief? You know, you maybe went in as, as, as underdogs in that game. Do you feel like you're, you're, you're on a level pegging even could go into a game like this as favourites? Yeah, but football, there's no underdogs these days. Everybody's. Everything can beat anything on a, on a good day. It's just how you prepare for the game. So for us, we'll prepare right, we'll fight for each each of each and every one of us. We'll fight for the ball, we'll fight for this hips, hips team, and we'll try to do the best thing we can do. So for us, we just went through the game, and the first half against them was not too good enough, so the gaffer let us to know, so we'll try to push out because we know losing the game at home is going to be difficult over there, so we try to make sure we get something out of the game, which we did, and we went down and pick it door, which is good. And they're not a bad team, they're very, very well organised, they had a couple of chances they missed over there, and with the light of the goalkeeper that kept us in the game. So we just learned from all these games we've played, so the most important thing is to get it right against Modi. So that's just a basic thing for us right now. How's it got a reputation as being a team that's scored a lot, but also have been conceding a lot of goals as well? as? A defender, how do you how do you think about that? How do you yeah, 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 that's the most important thing. We know we can score. The most important thing is how to defend. But it does rely on the defenders, it rely on the squad, because we need to defend as a team, not just the back four, but as the eleven on the pitch. So for us, we just try to help each other out, because someone can make a mistake and you cover him up, it doesn't show. So we just try to help each other out at every given time to make sure we cover everything we've done in the past two games, we put it into parties and we've the gaffer have shown us in the video and we've learned so much about it and we've worked hard to make sure we cover this thing in the next game, which is against Moody. We try to keep a clean sheet, try to stay compact, try to do what the gaffer has to do tactically wise and everything. And we'll put up in the game tomorrow, we'll see how it goes out today. Yeah, just ask you one more about, about John, having been his teammate for a while now, how, how far do you feel he can go in the game? How, how, where, where can his career reach? Well, the most important thing is to get the right move. That's what that will determine how far you can go. Because sometimes you get the wrong move or the wrong club, 
and that's it. Nobody hears about you anymore. So but for us, we just want him to get the right move. Not just for the money, but the right place that will develop him and make him the kind of play, player we think he's going to be like the future star in Scotland, because I believe he has the quality to be that kind of player, to lead the Scotland national team. Ethe, you yourself, of course, have had a lot of European football with, with Celtic. Personally, how, how are you enjoying this, this run with, with Hibs now? Well, it's been great because I know Hibs are teams that like to challenge, that like to win, that like to compete. I want to be the best in the country. So for me, coming here has no doubt and the kind of manager, the kind of environment I met before coming here and I've watched them when they were in championship before I joined them on loan. So I've learned so much about the team, I've known so much about them. So coming here and playing on that Lennon was a great thing for me to really do. So and I know with him, he likes to compete. He likes to win title. He likes to be the best and he wants to be the best. So with that kind of mentality he has put in this squad. So every player that comes here knows what is expected of him. So for us we want to compete, we want to win titles. And you can see for the past two, three years we've been competing in the league. And now in the Europe we've been doing well. So we just want to keep the momentum going and see where it tends to take us. Are these wins more satisfying at, at this stage of your career? Well, when you've played so many games in Europe, playing in a top club, playing everything. So for me I never give up playing. I want to improve everything. I want to fight for everything. So I still keep fighting. I never back down.